good health and your soul prospering? Or would you rather be sick and be rich? I had an old wise man tell me one time, a guy used to move around, mess, you know, he was old and I'd hang around with him because he was wise. Yeah. He, he was really intelligent man. He'd been around a long time, following yeah. the Second World War, but he was real smart. And he told me, he said, you want to know, brother, what a lot of people will do? He said, a lot of times they'll spend their health getting their wealth. And then at the end, they'll take their wealth and try to get their health back, but it won't ever work that way. Yeah. No, I ain't that good. And that was just something he told me, Brother Derek, that's always stuck with me. I know God expects us certain things out of us, doesn't He? Yeah. Sure He does. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? He expects more than anything, our loyalty to Him. Yes, I mean. Our heart belongs yeah, to Him. That's a good word, brother. Praise the Lord. That's what He wants, Brother Derek, more than anything. I love to provide for my family. I really do. It's an enjoyment, isn't it, brother? To, to watch them sit down across the table and, 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 and to eat a big old steak. Isn't that nice? Amen. To know that God gave you the strength to be able to. But it was God that done it all. It was God that gave you ability. It was God that gave you the health. It was God that gave you the strength. It was God that provided the job. It was God that gave you the money. And it's God that gave you teeth to be able to eat with. Amen. So you know what? God done it all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I used to have some, y'all. I lost them. Most said The real ones and the others too. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's all right to have fun, ain't it? Come on. Amen. One more place. Luke chapter 12. Brother George, you knew we was going there, didn't you? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know you you know we was. Yep. I believe he's getting to know me, Brother Derek. Luke chapter 12. Everybody there? Raise your hand, everybody. Come on. Everybody there. Luke Come chapter 12. On. I'm waiting on some hands. Luke chapter 12. Luke chapter 12, verse 15. Brother Derek, where are you going? I was there a while ago. Verse 13? 15. 15. Can I tell y'all where I was going? Yeah. Oh. Verse 15. Verse 15. I must have moved, didn't I? <laughs> okay, I never did get there. We might. Verse 15, Luke 12 says, And he, who's that talking about? And he said unto them, Jesus. Jesus. Written in red, y'all. Yep. It said, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. Now, in case you don't exactly understand what that just said, it says, A man's life is not counted for what he Amen. owns. Amen. Not for what he possesses worldly. Because it says, Jesus said in his, in his own word, in his own mouth, he said, beware of covetousness. Yep. Why would he tell us to beware of covetousness if he wanted us to go out and covet everything? There you go, brother. He wanted money. Mm -hmm. No. You know where Jesus wants our heart? In him. In him. That's right. He don't want it in the world. He don't want it in our bank account. That's right. But he wants it in him. That's right. Nothing ain't going to prosper us. Until we have Him. That's right. We have all the money in the world still be poor, y'all. Remember we read that long ago. Oh, yep. Or we can be as poor as dirt and still have everything. That's right. I may be poor as dirt, but I still have everything. That's right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 16 said, And He spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth the wind to him. That's what I said a while ago. He was already rich before the ground ever brought it up. Verse 17 says, And he thought within himself, saying, What am I going to do? Because I don't have any room left to put anything else. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do now, Brother Derek? My bank account is full and running over, and they won't let me put no more money in it. I can't hold no more of my bill. For what am I supposed to do with it? Give it away. Hmm. And he said in verse 18, This is what I'm going to do. Come on. He said, I'm going to give up what I already have <laughs> yes. that I might just get something better. Where are you at, brother? So I don't know that. It does. Yeah. Read it. 
And he said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull down my barns. I'm going to pull them down. I'm going to get yeah. rid of the ones I already got and build greater. And there I'm going to bestow all of my fruits and all of my goods. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of what I got so I can just build bigger. And I will say to my soul, you have much good. You have it made now. You got it made. You ain't got a worry in the world. Eat, drink, and be married. Verse 20 says, But God said unto him, When he reached this state, where he was so satisfied with his life, with his, mm -hmm. with his uh, prosperity, with everything that yeah. he had, but he forgot something, Brother Derek. The most important thing, he forgot something. Mm -hmm. We don't never want to forget the most important thing thing in life. Mm -hmm. And that's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. <laughs> but it said in verse 20, God said unto him, You fool. Mm -hmm. Why did he call him that? Why, why would God call this man mm -hmm. a fool? Because he had made pre preparation to live, but he hadn't made preparation for life. Right. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. He made preparation to live, but he had made no preparation to die. To die. Yep. That was his mistake. So yep. I've unintentionally done the same thing. Maybe it wasn't the money that I coveted. Maybe it wasn't riches. But maybe my eyes were set on something else other than God. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, brother. Yes, yes. But God said unto him, You fool, this night your soul shall be required of you. Then whose shall those things be which you have acquired or provided? And this is what really gets me. So is he, verse 21, I want y'all stay with me now. So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich <coughs> toward God. God. Now look, is everybody looking at verse 21? Everybody together, the whole church. Read those first three words. We do that for me? So is he that layeth. Just the first three words. So Read is he. Again. Now back up to verse 20. The God said. And where it says, read the sixth and seventh words. Thou fool. Everybody read that together. Thou fool. Everybody see that? It says thou fool, don't you? <laughs> thou, that means you, right? I yes, mean, that's just another word for you, right? Back in those days, they said thou instead of you, but it means the same thing? Yeah. Y'all agree it says you fool? Yeah. There, everybody there, everybody see that? Everybody looking straight at that? Yeah. You reading it? Yeah. Say it again. What does it say, that sixth, seventh word? Thou fool. Now read 21 to verse 3. So is he. Now read the 6th and 7th of 20. Do you get the picture? Do you see what I'm saying? Amen. Yeah. Hey, Y'all ain't getting it, are you? Got you it. you Got don't it. understand what I'm saying, do you? Got it. So is he, thou fool. Thou fool, so is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich. Money won't never get you that. That's right. No matter how much you got. Amen. You got God. You got it all. You got God. You got everything you need. 